challenging thought for the day. So I've talked before about change and how change is ultimately what we are helping guide teachers through. Um, and it can be emotional. It can be something that teachers need to grieve. And that's a whole fascinating thing to me. But today I want to share with you about the emotional cycle of change. We can kind of predict how people are going to respond to change. This graph shows the full picture of what we're going to go through. And so I'm going to zoom in on the first step. So the idea is above the dotted line is optimistic and below the dotted line is pessimistic. So stage one of emotional cycle for change is that people are going to start off uninformed optimism is the idea here. Um, it's that feeling to be excited to get started with something new. However, you may not be aware of all the difficulties you could face along the way. So it's important when we're working with teachers during this uninformed optimism stage, we need to make sure that we are setting goals, thinking big picture. What is it that working toward this goal is going to accomplish for you? Because there's going to be a time where later we have to hold on to what's really important here. The next phase is informed pessimism. The idea with this is as you progress, then you may start to feel some negative feelings about whatever it is that you're working on. Maybe you're not as motivated as you were. Maybe you're getting frustrated by some challenges. Things might be more difficult than you expect. You may even decide that you want to quit altogether. That is this stage, the valley of despair. Sounds so sad. So in this stage, this is where I think that title says it all. Michael Fullen calls this the implementation dip also. So the idea of you start something new and then you progressively go forward and you get to a part where you just feel like we're, we're not going to do this. This is kind of the make or break stage. Then stage four, or sometimes they'll call it stage three in this, is informed optimism. This is where you push past the doubt and you start to resume getting done what you need to do. You might still feel anxious, but you're still able to solve problems. This is where an action plan is really important because that is what is going to help drive you through to get from the valley of despair up to informed optimism. And then lastly, at the end is completion and feeling successful and fulfilled. So that is a time for celebration. Um, and that is ultimately what we hope teachers get through. If we're helping coach them through a coaching cycle, then we expect to see them through from uninformed optimism to informed pessimism, where they realize it starts getting tough through this valley of despair, to informed optimism, and then eventually to success. Mm -hmm.